is it? Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. Good job. Applause for her. Very good. <laughs> Okay, guys, now what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and look at section 1.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verbs to be. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar oraciones y preguntas usando el verbo to be, ser o estar. El verbo to be es un verbo irregular. Eso quiere decir que cambia la estructura en pasado, presente. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M, for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So. Um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is a subject, and as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So, we got a subject the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun day. Uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am 
or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun okay so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions okay so in esta parte necesito que le pongamos ojo porque aquí es para hacer la oración everybody repeat i am joe i am joe i am an english teacher I am an English teacher. He is Mario. He is Mario. He is a mechanic. He is a mechanic. He is at work. He is at work. They are my co-workers. They are my co-workers. Okay, so this is the affirmative statement. It's not a question. Estas no son preguntas, son oraciones. Ahora vamos a ver las oraciones, cómo formular las oraciones. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, I an English teacher. All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say is he Mario okay it is he uh, mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now 
what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Now, what I would like for everybody to do at this moment is I want you to work in pairs and you're going to write 10 questions. You are going to write 10 questions here in the discussion forum with the response. <laughs> 